Hello everyone. Now today we will start with our Python MySQL connectivity using Jupyter. Now for this you have to install pip install MySQL connector Python. Now in Anaconda prompt, so this is the main thing which you have to listen. In Ana you will open here Anaconda prompt and then anaconda prompt you can see click on this anaconda prompt and you can see this window here you have to type pip install mysql dash connector dash python now when you execute this command in my system it is already installed you will see it will install it so after this only you can use mysql python connectivity in jupyter so we will start with it now first yesterday we have already seen we will use the commands import to import mysql connect to connect with mysql cursor to make a new cursor of the connection and execute to execute the command so only these four things you have to remember so here connection for the connection we will write import mysql dot connector then any connection name you can use here identifier it is mysql.connector.connect here the host will be localhost and you i have given in my system root as a user and password as one to i have given in my system so whatever is your password you have to mention that now i'm checking here there is a built-in function is connected if our whatever connection it is is dot is connected is true it will show connection okay or if there is any problem it will show the error so here you can see it is showing connection okay now the next one is create after we have checked the connection is okay or not now we will create the database so here to create the database same thing again we have to import it after importing then we will simply connect it so here you can see this line create database imported we have then we have connected same line i have checked the connection and now you have to just create a cursor so here my cursor equals to any name you can give here the name of the connection dot cursor now if the database already exists then it will drop the database and then it will create a new database what happens normally while doing the practical once the database is created and then again we try to execute the command if it is not menu driven it will show error it will show database already created so here database we will create using execute so only four things import connect cursor execute only four things then we will close it so this is you are creating a database next after creating the database we will just see the database whether the database is created or not so here you can see here show database command so in this show database command we will write here same same code just you have to copy paste it so here same import then connect then is connected okay or not cursor and in execute only i have written show databases now many databases whenever many records are there want to display one by one there you have to use a for loop so here you have to use a for row in my cursor this name of this cursor my cursor and print row so you can see here it will show all the databases here it has shown the connection okay and then it has shown here all the databases of this system you can open the mysql and you can see which all databases are there now if i want to drop any database like i want to drop this database school so what i will write here same import connect connection okay or not i have checked cursor and then we have execute this command drop database so it has dropped the database and it has here you can write here drop print drop it uh, database has been dropped now next is create table here also the same thing last year you have already done create table command so import i have used mysql.connector then using connect command now here since you have to create the table inside the database you can see in connect the argument database equals to the name of the database 
so this is added till now we were not using the database name now to create the table we have to write the database name so is connected okay same code then cursor execute now here i have written the create table command complete create table command you will write and then it will show table created so at the end you can see here table created means it has created the table now next is show table same thing you will write same import command same connect because database student i am using here then connection ok it has shown then cursor now here in execute what is the change only one change here it is in execute i have written show table so rest all is same then one by one i want to show the table so for loop so this you have to keep in mind in insert command uh, in select command in show table in show databases one by one record you have to display so you will use a for loop there so you can see these many tables are there in my student table so it is showing all the table names now if you want to use the other commands like describe table what you have to write here same thing same import same connect database name is student connection i have checked okay or not cursor and then in execute i have written describe student then one by one i have taken and i have executed so here you can see the name of the table is student so it has given the complete description what is the column what are the column names describe table means it will describe the table it will show what are the column names what are the data types and all the different datas um, constraints i haven't given so it is not showing the constraints now how to insert one record at a time here also you will just simply import connect cursor you will make a new cursor now i am taking from the user now this you have to learn insert command in detail i will go through in other video here you are taking the roll number name and marks from the user this is user friendly so here i have used the new method so here you can see this insert command format is little bit changed insert into table name then all the column names which are their values now here i want to enter whatever the user has user has given in r n and m so here you can see all the values then if it is a integer or float you will simply write the um, parenthesis and if it is sorry curly brace and if it is a string you will put a quotes on it now you will write here format and then the variable name so this is the syntax this is a new thing which you have to remember now after inserting you have to commit without commit it will not show any output so you can see here it has inserted the records while select query we will use it will show the output also so here you can see 9 ppp 99 when we will use select query you will see this 9 ppp and 99 it will show now next is to insert multiple records now whenever we are inserting multiple records we have to use a for loop so here same thing you have imported you have connected it is connection okay you have checked cursor now you are asking the user how many records you want to enter then i have used a for loop now you are taking the roll number name and marks and there only you are inserting it so simply you have to write it inside a for loop rest all is same same commit and same you can see here record inserted so here the last record i have inserted is 8 oh and 88 so we will see in display now display all records it will show all the records till now like yesterday i have inserted some values day before yesterday i have inserted some values so all it is adding appending so my sql it happens insert into will add at the end so if i have deleted any records in between it has deleted those records and then it is showing so here you can see the display command same import connect cursor only in execute i have written here select star from in execute command i have written here select star from student and then here you can see since all the records i want to fetch uh, afterwards you will learn fetch one fetch many fetch all so here i want to fetch all the records 
So I have stored in this RS record set I have made here RS. I have fetched all the records and then using a for loop I will just access each record and I will display. So this is it is showing the tables. Now here you can see the complete table. Last one I have today I have inserted 9 and 8. These two records I have inserted today. Now next is update record. Same it will be import connect cursor now in execute which record you want to update that you have to mention this you have already learned la last year update table name set what you want to change where condition so here if the marks is equal to 100 you want to change the marks to 50 so here if any student like here you can see madhulika got 100 marks so if you want to change this marks you have to simply use update command and if the marks is 100 it will change to 50 now this marks will become 50 so in update delete and insert you have to commit it and then only it will show the uh, output while displaying so here records has been updated now you can see here two records means two students were getting 100 marks so two records it has updated it is showing with this row count function here I have used here row count function how many records has been updated it will show that number also now next is your delete records now in delete records also same thing import connect cursor in execute I have written here delete from student where marks is less than 50 if anybody is getting less than 50 it will delete those records so one student was getting less than 50 it has deleted those records now dynamic display means at runtime it will ask the user what they want to show so here you can see that uh, import connect cursor is same then you have asked the user enter the roll number to search this is search and display actually so it is searching the record and displaying it now roll number it has mentioned that this roll numbers it want to see so select star from student where roll number equals to curly brace now this is your search program so you can you have to see it nicely select star from student where roll number equals to you can see a new new format i have given so curly brace and then format r r is being entered by the user so it will fetch all the records and it will show one by one so it is showing here enter roll number to search if the roll number is three it has shown the records clear now all these programs you have to design using menu driven now yesterday we have done in python ideally simply this menu it will display and then so this is your holiday homework this menu you have to display whatever project you want you have to display and then all the different commands see in choice I have written you can use function also so using function using this menu driven this python mysql connectivity so your table will be created in mysql backend and python will be frontend when you will run the program so this project you completed 40 days holiday you are having and uh, if you have any doubt you can text me and you can ask clear your doubts so these many menus will be there it will not take so much time now next the other features are to join there are many other features <clears throat> I will show you once yes now here the remaining portion that is to join now these datas we will just simply excel to python and python to mysql so this is also very important this in the next video i will make it from excel we will use read csv and we will bring to python and then from python we will create a table in mysql then to plot the graphs now these datas we are creating in excel csv file on mysql now we want to do the data analysis with these data so we have to plot the graphs so matplot when you will do it how to plot the graphs of these data clear then for making a GUI we will use a tick enter and we will make a GUI so this is today's task you have to create the project 
so this project you will start creating and uh, if you have any doubt you just ask me so thank you have a nice day